so addressing an important topic. Our mission, and it'll be clear, is realizing the dream. And our dream is repatriation with every single legal documentation. So, when we broadcast from places like the River Yangtze, you will see that we have realized the dream. And not only that, vacation, it's not. The realization of the national dream is not a vacation. And it will be shown by proof month in, month out, week in, week out. 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028. We're not even gonna bother with social media, you know that. But you'll, you'll see what we mean when we say repatriation. The spirit, Zhongguo Hun, must hui qi Zhongguo, zhu zai Zhongguo, to fail to do so is our conviction that it leads to a state of a wandering, aimless spirit in another world. So we get to another point now. We talked about culture. So with no disrespect to any, any culture, so we look at different cultures. So we don't value things like hanfu, the you know basic ifu dress hanfu. Okay, so basically, then they said that has some links to the kimono. We value only weaponology. For example, Japan made great. The height of the achievement of the ancient sword has reached its pinnacle and summit in the land of Japan. So when we say we don't care about things such as dress, like kimono. Is we don't mean it because that's Japanese kimono. We mean we we pers we don't care about hanfu. We don't care about the writings of Confucius. What we do, what we do value is weaponology, the invention of the first cannon, the first gun, the first firearm, the first artillery, and we value the the the, the weapons of war that that was made in Japan. So we get to another topic. Culture. This is how we saw we personally view Japan's surrender in World War II. There's a culture in, in certain societies that, that enshrine obedience. And that, this, this is the problem. If the party enshrines obedience rather than you know, basically Mao Zedong's spirit of revolution. So, so in the event of disaster, any temporary overlord, simply whoever has authority, the people are going to bow to them. This is, this is incorrect. So we don't condone any, we want to make clear we don't condone religious extremism, but it's a stark historical contrast between, for example, the you know Afghanistan, where you have multiple empires going way back. That even when they occupy an area, they don't you know basically just say, uh, oh, one leader, uh, some foreigner is now sitting on the dragon throne, and because and, and because MacArthur is now. The, the new, basically, he basically lording it over Emperor Hirohito, obey the Americans. So, so we, we are, the concept is very clear that, that having a culture of obedience is a fundamental risk to state security, cultural security. It, you cannot have a people that will simply recognize one overlord the moment they sit upon the same seat. Understood. And, and when we broadcast from our home country, you will see our success and that we are not talking shit. You will see it because you're gonna see an upload from Yang Zerif. Month in, month out, year in, year, year in. We're gonna be right where we say we're going to be with full intention of making it so. With the legal documents, with, with the paperwork, and you know all the consul government all, all that all that bullshit we'll take care of that and you'll see the realization of the national dream